Haruto, who is a somewhat introverted character, likes his haircut. This makes Masaki very happy because he is her first customer, and she confesses that she was very afraid of not pleasing him. Masaki's smile leaves a sweet impression on Haruto's heart, and he starts going to the hairdresser once a month. They slowly start talking more and more. When Masaki mentions a movie she loves, Haruto watches the movie several times and takes notes. When he learns that Masaki doesn't have a boyfriend in their ongoing conversations, he becomes very happy and goes to the park with children, having fun all day long with a smile that never fades from his face. One day, Haruto gathers all his courage to ask Masaki out. Just as he turns around to ask her, Masaki accidentally cuts his earlobe. Masaki is crying, but for Haruto, the earlobe is worthless compared to Masaki's tears. Haruto, despite saying, it's not your fault, because it happened suddenly, Masaki is extremely sad and takes all the blame on herself, offering to pay for the medical bills and all damages. And she adds, I'll do anything you want. He asks with a slight hesitation, will you do anything I want? Taking this opportunity, he asks Masaki out on a date, telling her that he wants to watch the cherry blossoms together. Masaki is caught off guard and her sadness quickly turns to surprise. When Masaki notices a few white hairs in her hair, she becomes worried, and a sadness covers her face. But her friends soften the mood, saying it's just the stress of dating men. Haruto sends a message to Masaki about the appointment, and if it is suitable for Masaki, they will meet on Tuesday next week. Haruto's overly formal way of speaking creates a smile on Masaki's face, and she sends a reply. When she writes, I'm also looking forward to seeing you, in her first message, it's enough for he to be overjoyed. However, when she writes in her second message, I really want to help you take pictures, his joy turns into sadness. Because he lied about being a photographer and feels that he needs to apologize. Being a photographer was his dream. This is his first photo. But he felt less talented than others and quit his job after a year. But he knows this is just a temporary break. Until his heart wants to press the shutter button again, the special day that Haruto has been eagerly anticipating arrives. They meet in a wonderful natural setting adorned with cherry blossoms. Masaki asks about the story behind Haruto's interest in photography. However, Haruto honestly confesses that he is not actually a photographer, despite feeling talented in it, but gave it up because he couldn't succeed, and he lied because he was afraid of losing Masaki. Masaki is taken aback and admits that she initially found him cool. However, she is upset by the fact that Haruto seemed to judge people based on their professions. Moreover, Masaki is further angered by the fact that Haruto gave up his dream simply because it was challenging, despite believing in his photography talent. She urges him to pick up the camera again with motivating anger. Apologizing for going too far, she leaves. Deeply affected by Masaki's words, Haruto declares in a determined voice that he wants to change, that he wants to be proud of himself, and that he can become someone that Masaki can love. Months pass by, cherry leaves start to sprout again. However, Haruto's last words still echo in Masaki's ears. Right at that moment, Haruto calls. This unexpected phone call surprises Masaki. Despite her hesitation to answer the phone, she picks it up. Haruto tells her that it has been a long time and during this time, he has returned to the photography studio and just received his first paycheck. He wants to take Masaki out for a meal to express his gratitude, saying that it's all thanks to her. When Masaki accepts this invitation, Haruto screams with joy as if he has been reborn. Although she doesn't show it, Masaki is equally happy. As Masaki prepares for this meaningful encounter, she notices that her hair has turned much whiter, which instills fear and doubt in her. Masaki feels saddened by the permanent scar she has left on Haruto's ear, but Haruto is glad for this precious memento that will always remind him of Masaki. In the late hours of the night, Masaki enjoys a strawberry jelly dessert and shares that it has been her favorite thing since childhood. Just then, Haruto, with a timid demeanor, 
presents Masaki with a scissor belt, reminding her that during Haruto's last haircut, he mentioned that her birthday is in April. He chose the color of the belt to resemble the blossoming Sakura, comparing Masaki's smile to the blooming cherry blossoms. Masaki uses the belt for the first time while giving Haruto a shave. Haruto expresses his desire to one day turn the lie into reality and insists that Masaki must see a wonderful photograph he takes. He then confesses that he is grateful for falling in love with Masaki. As they bid farewell at the metro station to return home, Masaki tells Haruto that she needs time to consider his ambiguous confession. However, due to the distance between them and the noise on the platform, Haruto cannot understand Masaki's words. Masaki, unable to repeat the sentence she said with hesitation, panics and rushes to catch the metro. Confused, Haruto starts running after Masaki. While the train is already in motion, fueled by the adrenaline of love, Masaki shouts with utmost sincerity, I want to fall in love with you too, please be my boyfriend. The young couple who declared their love for each other now spend their days together. With constant smiles on their faces, they embrace the happiest moments of their lives. They deeply feel the love, coursing through their veins. Haruto sends a message saying, I'm coming to you. Masaki panics and jumps out of bed, screaming as she looks in the mirror. Haruto has brought strawberry jelly as a gift, and this gift is enough to make Masaki scream with joy. Seeing Masaki wearing a mask, Haruto assumes she is sick and wonders if he should have brought cough syrup. Masaki confesses that she is wearing the mask because she didn't put on makeup. In reality, Haruto really wants to see Masaki without makeup. However, Masaki doesn't want to take off her mask because she thinks Haruto will laugh. Haruto swears on his earlobe that he won't laugh. Haruto is captivated by Masaki's pure beauty and tells her she is incredibly beautiful. He immediately wants to take a photo of her, but Masaki feels embarrassed and refuses. Masaki reveals that nobody has ever called her beautiful before, and she is overjoyed to hear it from Haruto. Just as Haruto is about to kiss her, Masaki's brother grabs Haruto and warns him that if he kisses her, he will kill him, and throws him out of the room. However, Haruto, still not satisfied with being away from Masaki, tries his luck from the backyard. He suggests going to a fireworks display together, and Masaki happily accepts the invitation. Masaki suddenly starts experiencing severe pains, and her temperature rises to 39 degrees. Her brother immediately takes her to the hospital. The doctor, not entirely certain, informs them that she might be suffering from progeroid syndrome and that further investigations will be conducted. To put it simply, the disease causes accelerated aging, much faster than in normal individuals. Masaki's aging process could be as short as one year. Shocked by the news, Masaki starts researching about this disease online. The facts she discovers deeply affect her. The next day, Masaki meets Haruto to watch a fireworks display. However, the show is cancelled due to heavy rain. Haruto comes up with a simple yet meaningful solution, and they manage to have fun like children throughout the night. At the end of the night, Haruto expresses his desire to share a lifetime together and proposes to Masaki. But the doctor's words continue to echo in Masaki's ears, suggesting that Haruto might be rushing things and that she might meet someone even better. When Haruto says, you are the first woman I've ever had and the last woman I want in my life, Masaki kisses him with her deepest emotions. Masaki's test results have come in. Unfortunately, her condition is one of the most severe cases. There is no reliable treatment available. Masaki believes she has found true love and is about to experience the most beautiful moments of her life, yet she refuses to accept the reality of prematurely aging and dying. This truth deeply wounds her. The next day, despite everything, Masaki appears full of life and goes to meet Haruto. At first, Haruto is surprised to see her unexpected arrival, but he still invites her into his home, noting that it's quite messy and cramped. He quickly tidies up and brings some drinks. In the meantime, Masaki's eyes catch sight of a camera. 
She expresses her desire to take some photos with this magical device that captures memories forever. Masaki takes photos to her heart's content at a children's park. Only one shot remains, and Haruto wants to capture Masaki's photo. However, Masaki uses the last shot to take a picture of Haruto instead. Haruto is a little disappointed that Masaki didn't take his photo, but Masaki's smile is worth everything. Masaki asks Haruto to show her a wonderful photo when he takes one someday, and Haruto promises her he will. Masaki expresses her wish to stay at Haruto's place tonight. The couple spends warm moments that adorn their love. However, Masaki is aware that this is their first and last time together. Masaki, waking up early in the midnight, bids farewell to Haruto while he is asleep, saying, I wish we could have grown old together. Haruto doesn't hear from Masaki for weeks. He is consumed by worry. When he goes to the hair salon, he learns that Masaki has quit her job. When he goes to her house, Masaki's brother tells him that she doesn't want to see anyone and sends him away. Despite calling out to Masaki multiple times from the backyard, Haruto receives no response. Haruto, not losing hope, goes to see Masaki again. However, when Masaki's brother tells him that he doesn't know when to give up, Haruto says that Masaki taught him not to give up and asks at least for the letter to be given to her. As Masaki watches Haruto leave from her window, her brother tells her that she needs to admit that her relationship is over. The envelope contains the photos Masaki took and in the letter, Haruto expresses his concern for her and asks her to call him. Masaki calls Haruto. She thanks him for the photos and tells him that she is now in a relationship with someone else and they won't be seeing each other anymore. Haruto doesn't believe that Masaki would suddenly leave him for someone else without a reason and thinks she is lying. When Masaki's doctor introduces himself as her boyfriend, Haruto asks her to give him the phone. He wants to meet and talk about what's going on. However, when Masaki responds by saying, my boyfriend doesn't want me to meet with you, Haruto loses control and yells, asking how she can be so selfish and how she can be so cruel. Masaki tells him she doesn't care what he thinks and she wants him to forget about her before hanging up. While Masaki's brother's fiancé is dyeing Masaki's hair, she notices that a significant amount of her hair is falling out but tries not to show it to Masaki. Meanwhile, Masaki is aware of her rapid aging and regrets not allowing Haruto to take a photograph of her when she looked young and beautiful. Masaki undergoes treatment at the hospital for months. However, a solution for her illness cannot be found. In fact, Masaki has aged and become unable to walk. When her sister-in-law takes her home from the hospital, Masaki mentions that there is one last place she wants to go. They wait in front of the photography studio, hoping to catch a glimpse of Haruto one last time. Despite the long wait, Haruto does not come out. Losing hope, Masaki tells her sister-in-law that she feels better now and they can leave. Just as the car starts moving, a heavy rainstorm begins. Haruto and his team quickly rush outside to protect their equipment from getting wet. Masaki can't hold back her tears. She can only watch from a distance, being so close to her lover. The fact that fate has separated them shatters her heart. The doctor had told her brother that Masaki probably wouldn't live long enough to see the spring. He wants to bring a little happiness to his beloved sister, even if it's just a bit. He gives her a fuzzy hat in the color of cherry blossoms and tells her how beautiful she looks in it. He asks her to make a wish and continues to act as if everything is fine. The next morning, he wonders what Masaki wished for. However, she hasn't written anything. He notices a crumpled piece of paper on the floor and immediately goes to Haruto. Deep down, Masaki still longs for Haruto. Her final wish is to, I want to see Haruto. Although the harsh words Masaki said when she left echo in his ears, the memories of the beautiful days they spent together never fade away in his mind. Her brother tells Haruto the whole truth and begs him to help Masaki. Haruto, with a wounded heart and the sadness of not noticing anything before, goes to Masaki. He tells her that how she looks doesn't matter, that she is the love of his life, and that he still loves her deeply. 
He fears that he has upset Masaki by calling Haruto without her knowledge and apologizes. However, Masaki says that she was initially very scared, but she is happy now. Because Haruto has told her that he still loves her. This happiness is also the happiness of her brother. From that day on, Haruto visits Masaki frequently and sincerely shares the events of his day with her. Over time, Masaki gains courage from Haruto's faith and his fight, and she begins to break out of her shell. She even starts putting on makeup in front of the mirror. Haruto admits that he is glad that Masaki accidentally cut her earlobe, and because of that incident, he was able to ask her out. He shares his dreams for the coming year, such as going to hot springs, camping, exploring different countries together, and building snowmen, and he firmly believes that they will make them all come true. Haruto, inspired by his famous photographer mentor's quote, what matters is capturing the desire in your photographs, takes amazing pictures and plans a photo exhibition called Time and Space for the next month. He visits Masaki and tells her about the exhibition, urging her to come and see his photographs. It's the last day of the exhibition, and Haruto's eyes are searching for Masaki. However, Masaki has decided not to attend the exhibition. Unfortunately, Haruto lacks the courage to face her in his current elderly appearance. Her brother, saddened by the helplessness of his sister, encourages her not to give up, reminding her that she is always a strong woman and urging her not to give up on such an important day. With newfound determination, Masaki gathers all her strength and decides to go to the exhibition for the sake of love. Meanwhile, Haruto, curious about Masaki, goes to her home. When her brother informs him that Masaki went to the exhibition, Haruto panics and rushes back to the venue. However, due to a traffic accident, the road is blocked, and Haruto gets out of the taxi and starts running with all his might to reach Masaki. At the same time, Masaki is on her way back home, constantly thinking of Haruto and longing for him. Her elderly body can no longer endure walking in the snow, and she collapses to the ground. At that moment, she sees Haruto running towards her, and a sense of excitement fills her face, while her heart is filled with hope that her longing for love will finally end. But unfortunately, Haruto doesn't recognize her, and he has actually only helped an elderly woman who politely fell to the ground. Masaki, without showing anything, expresses her gratitude to him and can only watch him walk away, hiding her emotions. Masaki unfortunately closed her eyes to this life. Haruto wants to enter her room. The belongings filled with memories left by Masaki are enough to ignite the pain in his heart. He is shocked when he sees Masaki's furry hat. He now realizes that the elderly woman he helped in the snow was Masaki herself. The shame and regret of not recognizing Masaki on that day intensify the pain in his heart to such an extent that he cries out in despair. Haruto is deeply affected by the situation and cannot forgive himself. He locks himself in his room for days and starts to believe that life has no meaning anymore. As he is about to end his life, there's a knock on the door, saving him from this great mistake. It's Masaki's sister-in-law who has come with Masaki's final letter. To Haruto, I went to your exhibition. I was really afraid to go outside. But you helped me out of my shell. Going outside after so long was like an exciting adventure. It was just what I needed. Because your photos were so beautiful. You know something? I was always scared of the passage of time. I was scared of how my appearance and my situation changed. But some things never change. In your photos, I remain 25 years old, just like you. The scenery we saw, our memories of that day, will never change, no matter how much time passes. When I think like that, I feel really happy. Haruto, I'm glad I cut your earlobe that day. I'm glad you asked me out at the hospital. I'm glad you took up photography again. It was only for a short time, but I'm so glad I got to share my life with you. You made me glad about so many things. Once, while I was cutting your hair, you said it too. I'm glad I fell in love with you. So am I I'm glad I fell in love with you. And I always will be. Now and forever, I will always love you, Haruto. Footnote. 
Too bad we couldn't see each other that day. I wasn't feeling very well, so I went home as soon as I saw your photos. Your photos are lovely. Don't stop taking them. Haruto, thank you. Masaki Ariake. Haruto is aware that he will carry the regret of not recognizing Masaki even for a single moment in his heart for a lifetime. In light of his ongoing struggle to find an answer, each new spring reminds him of his love, which he compares to falling petals. After the end of the film, we see that Haruto, who is trying to take his first photograph for his photography dreams, actually had a chance encounter with Masaki years ago. Masaki was his destiny.